All right, I'm going to solve an equation today and give you an example of solving an equation for an unknown variable. So we'll start with maybe an equation something like 2x minus 5 equals 3x um, plus 7. And we're going to try to solve this for the unknown variable x. We need to find a value that if we plug in 4x would make this, this side of the equation equal to this side of the equation. So as we're doing that, we want to gather our constants. We call them like terms. These are alike because they're just considered a constant without a variable on them together. And we need to gather our variable terms together. These are like. And so what I want to do is I want to move one of those to one side of the equation. And we can do that first by let's getting our constants together. I can do that by adding 5 to this side of my equation. And what I do to one side of an equation in order to keep my equation balanced, it's like a teeter-totter. Um, if you recall our little um, example of the teeter-totter, if we add 5 to one side of a teeter-totter, we must add 5 to the other side so that our teeter-totter or equation will stay balanced. Now if I do that, I end up with 2x here because I added nothing to it. These obviously cancel and it would give me 0, so I'll have 0 there. If I do that here, I get 3x. Again, I added nothing to it. And I get plus 12. 7 plus 5 is 12. Now, I accomplished half my goal here in getting my constants together. Now I need to get these variables together. So if I have 3x here, I'm going to have to do its opposite and subtract 3x from, again, each side of my equation so that, um, so that I can keep those balanced. So on this side again, these cancel. We'll, bring, we'll have just the 12 straight down here. And that will be equal to, now 2x minus 3x. You know, if you remember your sign numbers, we take, when you have, signs are different, we take the larger minus the smaller. So 3 minus 2 is 1 and give it the sign of the larger. So we have a minus 1x. Now, we still haven't solved this completely because we have this constant that's attached to our variable x, and we want just x. So, of course, when something is multiplied by a variable, if we divide by it, so this time we're going to divide by a minus 1 both sides, that'll cause us to get a positive 1x, or just x, we often write it that way, and 12 divided by a minus 1, again, sign numbers, division of sign numbers, a positive divided by a negative is a negative. So it's a negative 12. So there's our solution. Now one of the great things we can do with that to make sure that it works, we can verify our answer by plugging that number that we found for the variable x back into our original equation. So we could go ahead and we could test it. Remember we found that x was equal to a negative 12. We can go back to our original, start right there, and we can go 2 times a negative 12 minus 5 is equal to 3 times a negative 12 plus 7. So if we verify this, 2 times a negative 12 is a negative 24 minus 5. And if we do this, 3 times a negative 12 um, is a minus 36 plus 7. Now again, sign numbers, both signs are negative, so we are going to add those two together. That's 29, and given their like sign, that's a negative 29. Here we have different signs, so I'll take the larger minus the smaller, which is 29, and give it the sign of the larger. And you can see that we have minus 29 is equal to a minus 29, which verifies that our value that we found for the variable x, x equaling a negative 12, was our correct solution.